Welcome to the Boston Red Sox News Feed Report for September 20th, 2018. This is Michael Setapani reporting for CLNS, a leading online provider of audiovisual coverage for the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox once again could not wrap up the AL East division as the offense remained silent in a 10-1 loss to the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. David Price took the ball for the Sox looking to clinch, but Yankee Stadium continues to be a house of horrors for him. He did not pitch poorly, but the results were not there. In the second inning, Miguel Andujar got the Yankees on the board first with a homer to right field seats for the 1-0 lead. After a Gary Sanchez single and two walks by Price, let's not all blame Nunez here, Aaron Judge hit a grounder to third that skipped between Nunez's leg to score two for the 3-0 lead. The Yankees added another in the fourth on a Luke Voigt homer that was similar to Andujar's. They ended up breaking it open in the sixth as Price struggles continue. He walked Sanchez and then Voigt hit his second homer of the game, giving the Yankees a 6-1 lead. Joe Kelly came in and he continues to show why he shouldn't be on the postseason roster, giving up two more runs and the Yankees led 8-1. The Yankees added two more in the eighth as the route was on. The Sox had an opportunity to give themselves a lead early on Yankees pitcher Luis Severino. Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez both reached base in the first but could not cross the plate. After the first, Severino settled in and became dominant. San Leon drove in the <clears throat> a run in the fifth, but that was all the Sox could muster up against Severino as he went seven strong innings, allowing just six hits and struck out six. The Sox could not make a comeback off of the Yankees' bullpen either as they fall to the Yankees for the second day in a row, this time with a score of 10-1. to With over 8 million users across the U.S. and Canada, Game Time is the top destination for last-minute tickets to all major sporting events, concerts, and shows. Game Time is built for the urban millennial and Gen Z customer that is always on the go and constantly optimizing for the best last-minute experience. Unlike the legacy industry's behemoths, Ticketmaster and StubHub, who overwhelm users with cumbersome choices and steps, Game Time creates only the best value tickets and makes the experience incredibly fast and easy. Game Time is a top destination for last-minute tickets to live events. To make selecting tickets even easier, Game Time shows you an actual high-res photo of the view from your seat. Plus, the Game Time guarantee has you covered. The guarantee you'll receive your tickets in time for the event and if they'll all be valid for entry. If that doesn't happen, Game Time will will locate comparable replacement tickets or give you a 100% refund. Whether you're looking for sports, music, or theater tickets, you can find all of them under one roof in Game Time. Game Time sells tickets for all major venues across U.S. and Canada. Download the app for iOS or Android. With Game Time, you can get tickets at the last minute up to 60% off. If plans change, no problem. Sell your tickets with a push up a button. For $15 off your first purchase, visit usegametime.com slash socks and use promo code SOCKS. That's $15 off your first purchase visiting gametime.com slash socks and using promo code socks. That's U-S-E-G-A-M-E-T-I-M-E dot com slash socks and using promo code socks. Offer only valid for first-time customers. The Sox will look to avoid the sweep in the Bronx and wrap up the AL East tonight against the Yankees. Eduardo Rodriguez takes the ball for the Sox and the Yankees will count them with Masahiro Tanaka. First pitch tonight at the stadium is at 7.05 p.m. This has been Michael Setapani reporting for CLNS.